Hello, this is Suyong Lee from Kaist Graduate School of AI. The title of my talk today is Towards Deep Attention in GNNs, Problems and Remedies. Let me begin. I'll start with an introduction. Graphs are everywhere. Graphs represent relational data that consists of nodes and edges. A wide range of real-world networks can be represented as graphs, including web networks, social networks, transportation networks, co-purchase networks, and more. To solve various downstream tasks on graph, we can use GNNs. GNNs learn graph representation with neural network. To make GNN learn better graph representation, we need to enhance its expressiveness. We introduce two techniques that do so. The first is graph attention. It learns the weights for feature propagation. In the figure, we see that to learn representation of node i, one layer of graph attention learns the weights of different neighbors for feature propagation. Another technique is to build a deep GNN. Deep GNN increases the receptive field and stacks nonlinearity. In the figure, we see that a two-layer graph attention makes node i receive features from its two hope neighbors. Given the techniques to enhance GNN expressivity, we aim to answer the following three questions in this talk. First, can existing graph attention remain expressive over deep layers? Second, how to design an expressive deep graph attention? And last, can it solve node classification problem? This leads us to section two, the analysis of graph attention. There are two variants of graph attention. The first is edge attention. It learns neighbor importance within each hoop. From the figure, we see that propagation weights for direct neighbors are all different. Another variant is hope attention, which learns the importance of each hope. From the visualization, we see that propagation weights are different for each hope. In our theoretical analysis, we find that all the discussed graph attention models, including JT, FAGCN, GPRGNN, and DAGNN, suffer from the two problems. The first is vulnerability to node feature oversmoothing. Informally, it means that the attention coefficients become identical for oversmooth node features. The second problem is smooth cumulative attention, meaning that cumulative attention vectors become identical for all nodes at very deep layers. We refer their details to our original research paper. However, note that both problems are critically contrary to the goal of attention. The limitation motivates us to propose a new GNN architecture, AeroGNN. Attentive deep propagation GNN, AeroGNN in short, learns edge attention alpha k and hope attention gamma k at every propagation layer k. It first transforms input feature x with an MLP and then propagates feature h with edge attention alpha k and hope attention gamma k to learn the final node representation zk. A classifier layer makes a final prediction z star. In designing the attention functions in learning edge and hope attention, we set five different key differences to the prior methods, such that error GNN may remain expressive over deeper layers. The keys are for stacking nonlinearity over deeper layers, learning both edge and hope attention using features from previous layers z, learning negative attention, and last, learning node adaptive hope attention. Please refer to the details in our original paper. In the table, we see that the attention functions of AeroGNN is the most flexible one with many desirable properties. Most importantly, this set of properties allow AeroGNN to mitigate the proposed problems of deep graph attention. We now empirically evaluate if such deep graph attention employed by AeroGNN is effective. Here we report node classification performance of GNNs, where green indicates ranking the first and yellow the second. We see that AeroGNN at the bottom performs the best overall, ranking the first in 9 out of 12 datasets. We now check model performance over layers. From the figure, we see that the performance of AeroGNN, the red line, increases over k up to layer 64. And its best performance, denoted by the red star, is higher than all the baselines. To summarize, AeroGNN better learns deep graph attention compared to the baseline attention-based GNNs. Finally, we discuss our findings. In this work, we explore two limitations in building deep graph attention. Motivated by them, we propose AeroGNN to theoretically and empirically mitigate the problems. The prior work on graph attention has placed larger focus on designing an expressive layer. On the other hand, making GNNs deeper has been an important setback to GNN research. In the present work, we bridge the two research directions and argue that the two are complementary to each other. For any question, please write me an email. Thank you for listening to my presentation.